All right, we are uh, filling some, some tree wells in Union Hill. Uh, this, this street has been empty of trees since the 1950s. Uh, the city has just given us a, a number of great sidewalks with empty wells that uh, the Mosquito Squad has uh, donated trees to fill. So it's a great partnership with the neighborhood, uh, with a, a good corporate neighbor. And uh, it's going to benefit the old timers and the new timers in the neighborhood uh, together. Two, three. And it gets. <laughs> now let's, I think we got to turn it this way still. Can you move it a little bit more? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to take the top, we're going to take it down on the sides so we can see what we're doing. Because if it's synthetic burlap, the roots will not go through it and it all has to be removed. If it's natural burlap, it will eventually disintegrate and it will not keep the roots from expanding to provide a base of support for the tree. Have too much more to go. What do you guys think? The most important thing we want to do with the city tree is provide water for it and that's the least available resource for most of our city trees. So it's critical what we're doing here today and the technique that I'm using is called mudding in which involves us putting a water hose directly in the bottom of the pit here. And we stick a hose right down there and we kind of bubble up a lot of mud. And that will fill all the air voids that might be down in the bottom of this root ball and allow the mud to sink in and kind of bond with the roots. We want to keep the area right where the root ball is. We want to keep that area fairly clear of mulch don't want the mulch to intercept any of the small rain events we might get during the summer months. If it's an inch awesome. or less of rain, we know that two inches of mulch can prevent that rain from getting into the root zone where we want it to be. All right, we've got trees in our new sidewalks area. Hey, good work. Great job. Learned a lot about trees today. Excellent. Thank you.